Kent State University. Mm. <laughs> <And> <laughs> All right. Now she knows what those tassels mean. Yeah. <laughs> She's now working in sales and enjoys the opportunity to opportunity to work one-on-one -on -one with her clients. Tonight, she will be giving you a better understanding of who she is. In her speech, who is Kelly Rogers? Please welcome to the lectern, Kelly Rogers. Thank you. Good evening, Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and guests. Who is Callie Rogers? Is a question I hope you all can answer when I'm finished with this speech. When I'm done, I hope you all can agree that I am a passionate, hardworking, and energetic person. So let me give you the cliff notes of who Callie Rogers is. I have three passions in my life, my family, my education, and horseback riding. Let me tell you a little bit about my family. I grew up with six people, and I'm sure some of you have experienced this, but it was a difficult household. I have four siblings, an older sister who is nine years older than me, an older brother who is four years older than me, and a younger brother who is 20 months younger than me. If you can imagine, there was a lot of fighting. <laughs> I always say that I am the middle of the main three. My sister was just so much older than us that it was always me and my brothers. I always said that I was the middle of the main three because when I was trying to dress my Barbies and deciding what my Barbies should wear, my sister was dressing and deciding what to wear to go out. So we never really had much in common. I also consider myself the black sheep of the family. I'm the most energetic, the most outgoing, and sometimes the loudest. But although there was all this fighting and bickering, it's interesting to see as you grow up how things change, how your siblings are now your best friends. My sister and I hang out almost every weekend, whether it be lunch or go see a movie, and my brothers, brothers and I grab a beer and sit by the bonfire for hours. You start to really appreciate your siblings, and especially your, your parents. I now understand that my parents are saints for dealing with four completely different personalities. My family means a lot to me, but something else that also means a lot to me is my education. As you all know, I graduated Saturday, and we, were, as a family, were reflecting on education memories of the past. My dad was telling the story of how when I was in middle school, he would sit at the counter and ask me questions about the spelling test, a math test, a science test, whatever it may be. And I would lay on the living room floor throwing a tantrum because I couldn't answer the question correctly. <laughs> Education has always been important to me. Ten years later, I'm graduating from Kent State as summa cum laude, so all those tantrums actually did pay off. <laughs> My education has proven that I work hard and I'm very determined and also competitive. And another aspect of my life where you can see my competitiveness is horseback riding. I have been riding horses since before I was born. That sounds odd, but I have picture <laughs> proof that my mom was pregnant with me on horseback. I show almost every single weekend during the summer. And like I said, I'm very competitive uh, and it has paid off. I have placed multiple times at the Ohio State Fair and even won grand champion one year. I have also won multiple year-end awards in different circuits and have been placed at the All-American Youth Horse Show. Riding horses is hard work and it takes a lot to take care of them, to feed them, clean them, and they're actually your best friends. My horse and I talk about everything. <laughs> Sounds weird, but she is my best friend. So those are the three aspects of my life that are important to me. They prove that I'm hardworking and passionate. And if you can't get that I'm energetic from this speech, you surely weren't paying attention. <laughs> but all seriousness, I hope you got a better understanding of me and who I am. Thank you. One of the things that's always kind of interesting when someone does their icebreaker is uh, letting people know. Was that difficult for you tonight to let people know about your interests, your family? 
No, I don't think so. I talk about the three things that were extremely important to me. I talk about my family, my education, and riding horses, which is a big part of my life. Sharing that information was fine. People here are like a family. I feel like I've only been here for three meetings, and everyone has supported me and helped me to move along and become a better speaker. Um, what would be your goal? You're in sales right now. Yes. Uh, what kind of brought you here? Actually, I read about Toastmasters in an article. I like to read articles um, weekly. And I read it in an article, and just graduating from college, I felt like it would be a great idea to become a better speaker. I think I'm a great speaker, but I think there's a lot of ways that I can get better. When you think about something like this, so, like you said before, you're feeling comfortable here. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's one of those things where we're kind of going, shifting from public speaking to speaking publicly. Do you think that this is going to help you? You're, you've got a pretty outgoing personality already. So what can it do more for you? If Even being outgoing, I still got a little bit nervous getting in front of us. This was a smaller meeting, and I still had a little bit of the butterfly feeling. Uh, I think doing this more often will get rid of that. I know I say um and like and so, and those are words that I shouldn't be using. I, have, I feel like I have a good voice and a loud voice, but there are things that I do that still aren't correct. So there are many little things that I still need to improve on, but and also becoming better at not looking down at my notes, memorizing things, or just going off the cuff and, and being confident with what I'm saying. My adrenaline was pumping. I was so excited. I ran seven miles without stopping. That's a huge accomplishment for me. I don't think I've ever run two miles without stopping.